We were not made to live like most men. We were made to fight. We were made to strive. We were made to work. We were made to conquer. We were made to give ourselves for something that is eternal. Adam was given the command to do what? To go out and subdue. To bring everything in creation in harmony with the will of God. To do all His governing, all His things within the context of God's will. Now we live in a fallen world that lives in darkness and death. The kingdom of the evil one spread abroad throughout the land. You and I were not called to play video games. We were not called to sit in front of a television set. We were not called to give ourselves to trifles. We were called to advance a kingdom. To live with a passion, to fight for Him. And to only every once in a while drop our swords and look up for a smile. I want to fight! I don't want comfort! I don't want ease in Zion! Because the kingdom of God is built not by those who rest easily in Zion, but by those who go out into the streets and fight. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty. Intercessory prayer, the proclamation of the gospel, and sacrificial love. Men, rise up, O men of God. Do what you were called to do. Be valiant and strong. And know that it's going to cost you. You take your stand beside Jesus Christ and His cause and you watch the devil come after you, buffeting you from the outside and from the inside. But that's what war is about. And so He has given us a great commission to pace a room at night saying, there is a place, there is a place where He is not worshipped, where He is not worshipped. There is a place where He is not worshipped. I cannot sleep. There is a place where He is not worshipped. There is a place where the flag of Zion does not fly. That's what we were made for. To set aside our little temporal causes and to give ourselves to this one great